I mean, I miss Izzy, but I always imagined being someplace like this with you. Shh. Just be here, Tech. Hey, Diane. Here comes my ex-wife and your beard. Fifty percent real. Enjoy. You two both gotten a good look? Some of these? A little of that? Yeah? Good, then we're done. Give me that. Oh, my God. Conk fritters. You guys, I will see you later. Hey. I'm gonna go. Got like four of them. She should have gotten the lipo. Oh, it does hurt a little bit when I sit though. Ah. Oh, hey, Gandhi. Here comes your better half. That's what I'm talking about. No? She's wearing shorts and a mom suit. No, 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 no. No, don't you? No, 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 my wife. Hi, guys. How you do? Oh, oh, I left my cell phone in the room. I'm gonna go back and get it in case something happens with Izzy, okay? I'll be back. How awesome is this? Doesn't look any better going away, does it, Gandhi? No. I got two words for you guys. Banana and hammock. Oh, hey there, what do you get a load of this? They're giving me a teaching award tonight, so I'm gonna need you to go ahead and holster up the twins as you'll be playing the role of Arm Candy. Yeah, I'm not going. If I want to hear someone go on and on about how great you are, I'll just listen to you during sex. I'm hearing the hate, but I'm not seeing the hate. You... Oh, my God. Did you Botox your face into an expressionless mask? Pedro called me ma'am. Ah, oh, damn it, Jordan, come on. Now, you know I'm generally okay with you putting any poison you want into your body, but this is the first time I've ever won anything. It's not that bad. Really? Show me happy. Sad. Silly. Amused. Be amused. Seem amused. Show me angry. Not angry, Joe. Huh. We saw it first. Jordan, here's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and cram an entire evening's worth of drinking into the next five minutes. Now, you just make sure not to engage them. Be particularly aware of the blonde talky one. I've worked with her before. She has no off button. If money is so tight, why not have Jake move in with you? <gasps> Who's Jake? Jordan. No. He's this guy that I've been going out with for a while, but we're not ready to move in. He's a little closed off, you know? Uh, sweetie, are you aware of who I live with? Jordan Godzilla Sullivan, you stop that and you stop it now. Why don't you try talking to humans for once? You might enjoy it. Um, have you ever heard the phrase, excuse me? Here, take the fake sugars, because I hope you get cancer. I really do. Well, my parents were mean to me. Keith and I are always so busy that he suggested that we meet here for 10 minutes before our shift starts for coffee for some together time. Isn't that sweet? That may have been the most bored I've ever been whilst someone was talking to me. She's ruining coffee time. Just pretend she's not here. So anyways, babe. Ugh, I hate everybody. Oh, look at those two. Must be the beard of the month club. My beard is nice and white, but my beard is more bushy. Yay, let's be friends, morons. I love you. I love you, too. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what the hell was that? I finally told Keith I loved him. Now that you've said what he wants to hear, he doesn't have to work for it. It's like when guys are really trying to sleep with you. When you finally give it up, there are no more flowers. Next thing you know, it's 20 years later, and you're standing over him while he sleeps, your third martini in one hand and a steak knife in the other. And sure, He's taking a sleeping pill so you can slice his arm open a little bit without waking him up. But it's not satisfying. And you know why? Because you've lost the power. Hey, Pear Pear, did you ever figure out what happened to your arm? Nope. Yes, a few. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jordan. Go away. 
go see mommy. Our daughter needs to go to the hospital. Her rash is spreading and she could use a steroid shot. Why can't you just do it here? Jennifer has uropathy. And over the next couple of years, plenty of doctors are going to be poking and prodding her. And I would like her to see me as her father, not as just another white coat that she will forever associate with pain. Totally legitimate argument. Huh. If three-month-olds didn't have the memory of an earthworm. Could you please just support us on this one? Fine. I'm right behind you. Oh, that's real talent. Since Jordan had prenatal surgery, she'd been on bed rest. Dr. Cox, however, was not. Okay, I made you breakfast. The kitchen's as clean as a whistle. I'm gonna drop Jack off at daycare on the way to work. Is there anything else I can do for you? I need you to go to the video store and get me anything with Vigo something sent. I need white chocolate, strawberry seltzer, peppercorn brie, and a Polaroid of the tomato plant that I planted last spring because I'm worried it may have snails. Oh, and if you see that neighbor, Lena, from down the hall, I want you to roll your eyes and say the word slut under your breath, but loud enough so she can hear. And don't forget to be home by 6.30 because you've got to give Jack his bath before you make my dinner. But when will I have time to kill myself? That's not my problem. Joanna. Now, I'm not much for this sensitive crap, but darn it all, you finally found someone who's willing to let you annoy them instead of me. Don't screw this up, JD, or you're just gonna end up where you always do, lying on that couch in the fetal position, wishing you hadn't driven another one away. If Jordan were conscious, she'd... she'd agree. <laughs> Anna, who put that fake arrow through her head? Huh? Which one of you? It was me. I did. I'll be back. Well, the car's here. For some reason, it was a half an hour early. Yeah, that was me. You know, you're gonna miss me more than I miss you. Oh, Paul, please. Underneath those four pounds of makeup and quarter inch of synthetically paralyzed skin, there is a frightened little drunk girl that I can already hear blubbering on the phone. Oh, Perry, I miss you so. This is you. Oh, Jordan, please come home, please. Uh, uh, See, this is why we're a great couple. Mm. Bag, bet you call me before I call you. you so you're work. actually gonna stop working around here? That's right, Ted. So you're actually gonna stop working around here? Thanks. No worries. Did you know it's Dr. Dorian's last day? You should give him a hug and share your feelings about him. Do you think you're funny? Funny looking pow! Hey, you. I I'm trying to develop a sentimental side, you know, for my stupid kids, and you and I did it once, so. Take care. Thanks, Jordan. So you're actually gonna stop working around here? Here, I need to be horrible to someone. Well, that's weird that you came. Ah, uh, you seem like you need it. I'm super sensitive about my skin today. Focus on that. It looks really blotchy. Yeah, and check this thing out. Did you pick that? No, it did it by itself. I want to touch it, but I don't. What are you doing? The van to take us to the airport is downstairs. It's called my job. It's that little thing I do 70 to 80 hours a week while you're eating, drinking, napping, spending, plucking, ignoring the children, and singing rap tunes into a hairbrush. Mm. You forgot about the nanny cam in the bedroom, didn't you? Mm. Oh, I like it like that. She working that back. I don't know how to act slow. Push for me. I did, but I'm okay with it because I'm fly. You're... Me, can anybody else watch this kid for a second? <laughs> She'll be all right. I wonder what's taking Jordan so long. Oh, my God. It's like 130 degrees in here. Oh. I have got to get out of here. Mm. I think the silicone in my lip is expanding. Whoa. Look at him. Your kid's like all green and slimy. I suppose it's because when Jordan was pregnant, I mentally prepared myself for her giving birth to something green and slimy. Where is Jordan, anyway? The Wicked Witch of the East Wing. Help! I'm melting! Anyone help! I'm melting! 
Oh, look, it's Keith. Yeah, well, if he wants to talk to me, he can find me, right? Right. Perry, I think there's something wrong with me. Now, that is the understatement of this still very young century. I may have screwed up Blonde Stick's relationship, and now I have this really weird feeling. It's called guilt, you Vulcan. Why the hell are you giving out relationship advice anyway? What are you, Oprah? <laughs> talking with Barbara, a cancer survivor who went on to form her own headscarf company. Tell us about that. When my hair fell out from the chemo, not only is that a huge downer, but scarves are tacky. Instead, how about I dance with a little girl who looks just like me? Anyway, go fix this for me. Barbie can handle this on her own. She is an adult. When's the last time we kissed? About a month ago. When's the last time we had sex? Yesterday. What do you say we head into the bathroom of this place and lower the health code rating from an A to a B? What do you say? I guess some people figure, what's the worst that can happen? Well? It's blue. I'm not pregnant. Uh -huh. You know what's weird? I'm relieved. I just feel kind of sad because I think about how beautiful our son is and I kind of wish it had gone the other way, you know? Sweetie? She's not pregnant! It came out blue! It's blue! She's not pregnant! It's blue! It's <laughs> What we have here it is a visual representation of how alcohol affects people of different ages. We have the young. Morning. The slightly older. Please stop talking. The slightly older uh, still. And alas, the very, very, very old. She is unconscious and virtually unwakeable witness. Jordaroo, you're delicious, Jordaroni. Uh huh. <laughs> we'll get you ladies some more coffee. Jordan, if you're willing to pay for it, just sit there frozen. How very generous. That's so funny. Yeah. No, I have the weepies. No, baby, you got post- You have no lines in this play. Okay. Jordan, I can handle it. Really? What do you got there in your hand? A job application for the gap. <laughs> oh, that's a good career move. <laughs> Look. All I ever wanted was to be a mother. And now that I am one, I feel like I'm not cut out for it. And you're ashamed of that? <laughs> well, wouldn't you be? Yeah, I was. What's the worst feeling you've had since you had the baby? I don't know. When Jack wouldn't stop crying, I wanted to throw that bastard out the window. Really? I wanted to throw Isabella out the window. Yeah, but we just had our apartment repainted and all the windows were sealed shut. So I just wanted to drop her off the roof. Oh <laughs> Listen. You can't get rid of this by sheer force of will or positive thinking or taking advice from a big Hollywood movie star and the dead science fiction writer he worships. You need to get some help. <sighs> okay. That's it, I've been talking. If you talk again, I'm going to eat you. 